Hello, my name is Peg Laswicki. I'm the Assistant Superintendent for Student Services in Arlington Heights School District 25. Today we are going to discuss timely and meaningful consultation. This is our annual timely and meaningful consultation meeting to talk about how students with disabilities can be afforded the opportunity to participate in special education services and access procedures to identify students with disabilities. There are several required components that we need to address today. They are child find, proportionate share, meaningful participation, allocation of services, proposals of non-public representatives that we will go through. Children in private school. District 25 provides proportionate share services to students in your schools, regardless of their home schools or where they live. Some definitions to go through today. Private school. Private school is defined as privately operated elementary and secondary schools that provide an elementary and se or secondary curriculum. Child find. District 25's responsibility is to identify locate and evaluate children with disabilities requiring special education that live in boundaries or attend a private parochial school within our district boundaries. Two more terms, district of residence and serving district. The district of residence is a district where the child with a disability lives and the serving district is the public school district where the private school is located. The child find process. Teachers, administrators, or parents may request an evaluation to be completed through Arlington Heights School District 25. The private parochial school will request a release of information from the parent prior to sharing information with the district. Staff from the private parochial school must complete referral paperwork prior to consideration of the evaluation request. Myself or a designee will consider the request and respond within 10 calendar days. Copies of the referral packet, process, and frequently asked questions are all available on the District 25 website. District speech and language pathologists may help facilitate this process, but they are not required or responsible for managing the child find requests at the, our parochial schools. If the district suspects that a child has a disability and would require special education services, it will grant your request for an evaluation. District 25 students may or may not be referred to the team at their home school. Dis we must comply with timely completion of evaluations within the 60 calendar days. And parents of private school students may not file for due process to challenge the services or placement provided by the local district. Evaluations by the district are not completed to help each teacher plan instruction. Our district relies heavily on the data from the private schools when determining this need for an evaluation. Not all evaluations are granted. This year, we've completed 14 re-evaluations and two initial evaluations. Those numbers do not include students that receive speech and language services only. Proportionate share. Every year, school districts must use a portion of their IDEA flow through funds to provide services to students in parochial and home schools, home school settings, excuse me. There are three elements that, we, that these funds are allocated by. 
base year, total public and non-public enrollment, and poverty. In previous years, the state provided us with an estimated proportionate share calculation based on child count data. Final calculations are typically released in August. However, ISBE was a bit delayed this year and these numbers, these estimated numbers were given to us yesterday on May 19th. Funds are allocated based on ISBE's formula. District 25 is required to spend the amount dictated by ISBE. However, we do not have any influence or input into the amount allocated. If you can see fiscal year 2020, 2021, and 2022 are all relatively about the same allocations. Yesterday when we received these numbers, ISBE did indicate that they were estimations. However, looking at trend of monies, it seems that they're, they're pretty much appropriate for what we typically receive each school year. Meaningful participation. Full-time private school students with disabilities have the opportunity to meaningful participate in school district special education and related, service, related services throughout the school year. District 25 ensures this meaningful participation by completing child find, providing educational recommendations for eligible students, providing direct speech and language services, and purchasing curriculum materials to supplement instruction as appropriate. Our allocation of services. So allocation of services for 21-22 school year, we will provide direct speech and language services to private and parochial schools as well as homeschooled students. Services include a minimum of a 1.0 speech and language pathologist allocation to provide these direct services to the participating private schools and homeschool students. Any excess funds will be divided between the participating schools to purchase materials and supplies. Per the American Speech and Language and Hearing Association and Illinois law, a speech and language pathologist may provide service, may not provide services to more than 60 students at any one point. We do have two speech and language pathologists, both working part-time, half-time, 0.5 in terms of FTE. So we would look that each of those SLPs would not have a caseload more than 30. Services will be provided at St. James, Our Lady of the Wayside, and St. Peter School. Services will be, will be provided during the school day according to our Arlington Heights School District 25 academic calendar. Students who are homeschooled or attend other private and parochial schools will receive services at one of the three schools that was just mentioned with the parents providing transportation to those schools. Preschool services will be at Wayside. School age services are provided at one of the three locations where the parochial buildings have office space so that services can be provided. Consideration of proposals. We will review new direct service proposals from officials of the private schools within two weeks of receiving them. The district will meet to discuss new proposals with representatives from the participating private schools. The district will work with representatives to come to an agreement on changes to services. And the district will respond in writing if it disagrees with the proposal. Our documentation of timely and meaningful consultation. Each school district must retain the following documents and we, District 25, provides these documents to ISBE if requested. A list of the non-public schools and, and homeschooling parents, invitation letters that we sent to participate in today's meeting, the newspaper advertisements that we sent as well, that we placed as well, attendance list of who came to today's participation meeting, meet our agenda for today, a copy of this presentation, and the attestation forms. 
in terms of compliance, if there is issue with this timely and meaningful consultation presentation, you may submit a complaint to ISBE. They will investigate and will issue a decision in a, in a timely manner. This is a reminder for our CARES funds that you need to um, make sure that you submit forms to Melanie Zenesek. Um, I know that she has spoken to a lot of the home private school um, representatives in terms of these funds and make sure that um, you know how much you are allocated. And if you have any questions, please contact Melanie. This is the non-public school consultation participation form for the 21-22 school year. Melanie has emailed it, emailed it to the point of contact, contact earlier this week. Um, and if you have any questions, please reach out. This is for Title I, Title II, and Title IV. For Title III, this is the non-public consultation participation form again for the 21-22 school year. It was already emailed to you by Shab Polas in February. She did indicate that um, if you have not submitted yet, she will be reaching out to each of those schools to ensure that um, those forms are submitted. I wanna thank you for your time. Thank you for um, this recording and watching it. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to call or email me at um, what you see on your screen here. Have a great day.